The Viking bark dominates the shoreline of Gothenburg. This type of vessel is known as a bark. It is also known as the Barken Viking. It is a four-masted steel bark built in 1906 by Burmeester and Wayne in Copenhagen, Denmark. She is reported to be the biggest sailing ship ever built in Scandinavia. In the 21st century, her sailing days draw to a close and she is moored as a hotel in Gothenburg, Sweden. Viking was originally built as a sail training ship for the rapidly growing Danish merchant fleet. At that time, seaworthiness and cargo capacity were given top priority. One day in July 1909, while carrying a full cargo of wheat from Australia, Captain Niels Clausen recorded a speed record in the ship's log of 15.5 knots. On the 25th of January 1917, she was sighted and boarded by a German commerce raider, Seeadler. Unusually, the Germans then allowed her to proceed, because being Danish, she was a neutral ship. This was something of a lucky escape, because within weeks, Germany would return to unrestricted marine warfare, a tactic that would have meant the ship's indefinite sinking. In 1929, she was registered under the Danish flag and joined the Orland based Ericsson fleet of tall ships. She was part of Ericsson's fleet until 1950. Viking was about to be scrapped, but was eventually saved by the Swedish government in 1950 and moored in Gothenburg. A suspension bridge built in the late 1960s has effectively locked the ship in since the masts are taller than the bridge. It is unlikely she will ever sail the open seas again. She participated in several of the great grain races from Victoria, Australia to Falmouth, Cornwall. Barkin Viking won the grain race of 1948. There are only 10 four-masted barks and one four-masted full-rig ship in existence. Viking came to Gothenburg in Sweden permanently in 1950 as a home for various shipping organisations and later became a, a school for seamanship. Today it is moored at Lilla Bowman as Hotel Bargain Viking. Inside the ship is various artefacts from her days of when she sailed to the Seven Seas.
Also in Gothenburg is a museum ship, an ex-Swedish Navy destroyer. The vessel was built at Eriksberg shipyard in Gothenburg, which is now closed. Launched on the 23rd of October 1952. After extensive work on equipment and installation of all components, the ship was delivered to the Swedish Navy on the 12th of January 1956. In the 1970s, following the decommissioning of Swedish Navy cruisers, this vessel, along with another destroyer, were the largest and most powerful vessels in the Swedish Navy, and later they became the leader ships for their destroyer flotilla. As can be seen, the vessel is heavily armed. The Smallland was taken out of service in 1979 and decommissioned on the 1st of July 1984. In 1987 she was handed over to the Maritiman Museum where she remains as a museum ship and is the last surviving Swedish destroyer. Today the Swedish Navy comprises of large patrol vessels and gun various smaller gunboats. The SS Marieholm seen here was built in 1934 at Odess, Denmark for Swedish America Line. She could comfortably, comfortably carry 146 passengers between the Baltic countries and Sweden. During the Second World War she was requisitioned by the Royal Swedish Navy to serve the naval staff. Having been decommissioned she was brought by a group of civilians. She has a bar and restaurant on board and serves refreshments on deck during the summer months and offers visitors a chance to experience a vanished era on a real steamship with a tradition for the great days of the Swedish America Line. Swedish America Line was amongst the first companies to build liners for provisions for off-season cruising, as well as the world's first company to build a diesel engine transatlantic liner. Increased operational costs and stronger competition from, from the airlines forced the company to abandon passenger traffic in 1975 but cargo operations continued into the 1980s. The last cruise liner built for Swedish America Line was the NV Kunsholm. It was built in 1966 by John Brown & Company, Clydebank, Scotland. This ship was later acquired by P&O Cruises and became their Sea Princess, later renamed Victoria and was known as Mona Lisa from 2002 to 2007. The ship was scrapped in 2016.